Now at five, a Princess Cruise Liner slams right into San Francisco's Pier 27. This happened as the ship was returning from a 10-day cruise to Alaska. And tonight, the ship and its passengers are scheduled to be back at sea. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck. And I'm Julie Hayner. Tonight, the U.S. Coast Guard is investigating how that collision happened. KTVU's Christian Captain joins us now live. And Christian, that ship is getting ready to head back to Alaska. Yeah, that's exactly right. The ship was set to get underway at 4 o'clock, but as you can see, it is still here at Pier 27. If you take a look there, you can see the damage uh, that is at the center of all of this, the damage she sustained this morning when she collided with Pier 27. Evidence of the early morning collision between the Ruby Princess and San Francisco's Pier 27 was clear, both the ship and pier showing signs of damage. Princess Cruises confirming that at about 6.05 a.m., the ship collided with the pier. Passengers who felt the jolt say they didn't immediately know that anything was amiss. It just felt like, like I said, like we just bumped up against the dock is what it felt like. And I really thought, oh, we're here. I just thought that was normal. <laughs> But most passengers say they didn't even notice and didn't know anything was unusual until the ship started making unusual maneuvers after it was supposed to be in port. I knew this could turn on a dime and I know we were backing into it, but I all of a sudden we were getting away from the port. And we kept on going further and further away and I looked at my sister and I'm like, something's not great. <laughs> The U.S. Coast Guard said it's running two parallel investigations, one into how the collision occurred and another to make sure the ship is safe to set sail. The San Francisco bar pilots confirmed that the ship was under the command of a bar pilot at the time of the collision and that they are cooperating with all necessary agencies looking into the matter. Crews work to restock the ship throughout the day, a welcome sight for passengers hoping to board and set sail for Alaska. Most didn't know about the collision, and those who did felt confident that the ship is seaworthy. I saw the picture of the damage. It looks to me like it's uh, it's, it's okay, you know, it got a good welder, maybe an hour or two. Now, the National Transportation Safety Board also confirming for us this afternoon that they are running another investigation along with the U.S. Coast Guard, saying that the U.S. Coast Guard is going to take point on that investigation. Meanwhile, more than 3,300 passengers and 1,100 crew members were on board at the time of the collision. No reports of any injuries. Another 3,000-plus passengers boarded today. Now, coming back to our live shot, I can tell you that we did see those passengers on board the ship behind us. A lot of them are presumably in their rooms now. No word at this point from Princess on when or if Ruby Princess is going to get underway tonight. We're live in San Francisco. Christian Kaftan, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Hey, Christian, is there a chance that the bar pilot could actually be disciplined here, maybe even suspended? Well, that's one of the questions that we had. We did reach out to the Bar Pilot Association. They said that they're not commenting beyond saying that they are cooperating with all authorities in this investigation, Mike. All right. Christian Captain, live tonight in San Francisco. Christian, thank you.